making strides in the chemical industry. 37-year-old Jennifer Mkombo's turning point in life came after she was imprisoned for drug trafficking in 2010. After her release, she grabbed an opportunity to attend entrepreneurial training offered by the University of Johannesburg and the Chemical Industries Education and Training Authority. Mkombo manufactures cleaning products, but says it hasn't been easy in this competitive landscape. When you manufacture, you sell the product. Sometimes you, you don't sell everything. Sometimes you are forced to sell with less price because you're competing with the business that already exists. I don't want to mention names, but we know that mostly in household you prefer some products that have been existing for a very long time. So now I come with my product, you don't feel like buying them because you don't trust them. So those are the kind of uh, challenges that we meet. In my case, the challenges are there and this is when um, the product has been decided on and um, in getting formulations and in getting funding so that the project can carry on. So it, it, it does come with um, a bit of stumbling blocks, but um, at the end of it all, there is um, learning that takes place through it. According to the 2020 MasterCard Index of Women Entrepreneurs, only 19.4% of business owners in the country are women. Small and business enterprises account for 54% of the country's entrepreneurial activity, but the chemical sector is lagging. The industry itself has been has been uh, 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 dominated by big uh, companies who manufacture chemicals, both for the households and also for the for the industries. And as a result, we still don't have a very strong cadre of entrepreneurs who have got the managerial skills to be able to run companies uh, effectively and also also efficiently. Cheta CEO Yeshan Pillay said in a statement that. The organization has ongoing efforts to welcome women into the chemical sector and one of the ways is to focus on developing women-led small businesses to encourage their participation in the mainstream economy. Yeshen says they've recently trained 49 delegates in Swane and Ekuruleni at a cost of over 1.4 million rand. Meanwhile, the Chemical and Allied Industries Association says the chemicals industry accounts for about 25% of the country's manufacturing cells and is the most developed in the continent. Mulimo Onemoto, CBC News, Pretoria.